Hello everyone, this is Hank. I'm back for another episode. Today we are going to talk about the Canon EOS RP exposure compensation. What is it and how to use it. So without further ado, you, as you can see in this on the screen, um, I have a subject prop against a bright window. Okay, and right now I'm in AV mode, which is everything automatic. And as you can see, my subject is completely underexposed. In while the exposure uh, scale uh, shows me that I'm perfectly exposed. And this is one of the scenario where you have the metering system being fooled by the background light. Okay, so this is a common problem. Any camera will have this problem. Uh, it's not just the EOS RP that does that. Okay, so there's a couple ways of uh, combating this. Number one is that if you have a flash, okay, then you can turn the flash on and, and shoot a picture and then the flash will fill in the your subject and everything is going to look alright. Okay, but if you don't have a flash, then you got to do something about it. Okay, so there's a couple ways of doing it. And uh, depending on who you are and, and what your preference is, okay, so I will show you um, a couple ways that people normally do it. Okay, so first of all, um, right now I have the metering system set to evaluative metering, which is m the, the mode that most people uh, set it at. Okay, uh, that's the most popular mode. Now, to combat this, you can either go to partial metering. As you can see in the picture there, it looks slightly better, right? Or you can go into spot metering, and it looks even a little bit better, but it's not perfect, right? So, and also the spot metering and the partial metering has an um, uh, issue with it. Uh, especially with the EOS RP because on the EOS RP right unless you're using evaluative metering okay your focus point is not tied to your metering point your metering point is always in the middle unless you're using evaluative metering mode and then wherever you focus that is where it's going to take the meter so um, there's really good reason why you want to use evaluative metering for the EOS RP okay um, okay with that said uh, the main topic today is we're going to use um, exposure compensation correct so what I'm going to do is to change it back to the evaluative metering mode which got a very severe backlit problem here Okay, so in order to do exposure compensation, it's really easy for the RP. All you have to do is to press the shutter button halfway and then use the main lateral uh, dial to crank it up. Okay, in this example, I, I have to do like two and a half to make it um, bright enough for the subject. Okay, and, and then I can go ahead and take a picture. And as you can see, this picture look a lot better than the one before. Now, the only um, thing that you sacrifice is that your, your background now is a little bit blown out. Okay, and that's a price to pay uh, if you don't have the flash. All right, so... Um, now, let's talk a little bit about the metering problem and what to do with it um, on a bigger scale, right? Uh, kind of a higher level. So, there are two scenarios that you will have this problem. I show you the one that the background is too bright. Okay, What is it doing? Uh, what the camera does is like it said, okay, your whole picture is too bright, so I'm going to have to darken it. So when it darken it, and it thinks it's perfect exposure, it has to darken it to the point that your subject is completely dark. Okay, so that is what you're looking at. Now, there's a real 
another real scenario that you often face, especially if you live in places that have snow in the winter, when you go out and you set this thing to AVTV or program mode and you just shoot away, what you will find is like most of your picture when the snows are there um, is that the snow, number one, the snow is going to look kind of grayish. Okay? And your subject is going to be really dark. Okay? Now, the problem um, is twofold in the case of snow because okay you have a problem with the background being too bright which is the problem that we were talking about now another problem with the background being pure white is like the camera is designed so that uh, you know whenever it sees white okay it, it will turn it into gray okay um, if you don't believe me Take your, your camera, put it on auto, and shoot at a, a white wall. And when you view it, it's going to look gray. It's not going to look white. Okay, so to, com uh, to compensate for it, what you do is like when you take picture in the snow, you want to use exposure compensation and you go to plus two, which is make it brighter, two, two stops brighter, and then everything's going to look right. Try that, you'll like it. Okay, now. Um, the opposite problem is that if you have a completely black background, so you have the opposite problem, camera is going to say that, oh my goodness, you know, like I don't have any light, I got to brighten the whole scene. So in its mind, it thinks that it's got perfect exposure, but in reality, because it, it properly exposed for the background, not your subject, your subject is going to be washed out, it's too white. So in that case, you got to kind of darken uh, the picture using exposure compensation uh, to compensate for it. Now, I have a ground rule that I developed that is really easy to remember because sometimes you don't have enough time to think. So, so you just think of the scenario as the background only, okay? So, so just think background. So if your background is too bright, you got to make it brighter with the exposure compensation. Seems counterintuitive, but that is what it is. Now, if, if the background is darker, and then you make it darker, so you go white, you go white, you're brighter, okay? Dark, you go darker. Uh, with the exposure compensation. So um, the way I remember it, bright, bright, dark, dark. It's really easy to remember. And then you just crank crank to the right with the RP, crank to the right is brighter. Crank to the left is darker. So 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 you can do like okay okay, so bright you go right, dark you go left. Okay? So now um now I wanna show you the um the menu item okay for this. Okay, if you go to uh, the menu and you go to shoot menu number three, which is the, the red three, the, the first item is exposed conversation. Okay, so you went, when you press the set button, okay, um, uh, this thing is going to show. And you can, you can adjust it here. Okay, the, the biggest problem with adjusting here is that you don't see what you're doing, right? So, but you can adjust it from here. Now, there's a scenario, I don't know if you know that, but the EOS RP allows you to do exposure conversation when you are in manual mode. Of course, you know, if uh, you only need to use exposure conversation in manual mode only when you use auto ISO because then the camera controls your exposure and not you, even though you're in manual mode. So in, in this scenario, if you have auto ISO. Now, the problem with your being in manual mode is that the RP doesn't have any button for you to do exposure conversation on. So you have to use this menu to set your exposure compensation while you're in manual mode. 
unless you have one of these RF lens that has the control ring then you can program a control ring to do that or you have an adapter uh, with the control ring of course you have to pay 200 bucks uh, instead of 100 bucks uh, for the, the regular but um, so if you have that you can program it for exposure compensation and then you can do it in any mode okay um, with that I think that uh, I'm done uh, talking about this one hopefully um, this will give you a better idea on what exposure compensation is and how to use it effectively uh, thank you very much and by the way um, please subscribe you know um, YouTube told me like if I have 1,000 subscribers or more then I have a chance to get paid for it right now I'm I'm way under that I, I only got about 500 something so I would appreciate you subscribe and press the like button you know as always um, kind of make me feel good to uh, when people view my uh, my videos and especially liking them thank you very much have a good day